Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bayonetta walkthrough. Um, this is the beginning of the extras, of which there are going to be quite a few. Um, first off on our um, list of extras, um, we are going to head, well, we're already in the gates of hell, and we're going to purchase the Super Mirror, um, which basically allows you to change um, Bayonetta's costume. So there's loads of different um, costumes that you can buy, um, and we're going to be getting all of them, as well as all of the Umbra elegances, um, which basically, if you've got a weapon on, then Bayonetta's outfit will change to fit the weapon, which is quite cool. And I will be showing all of these off um, a little bit later on. Uh, the one that we can't buy yet um, is for a weapon that takes a long time to get, which I will discuss a little bit more when we uh, get to it. Um, but as for now, we've pretty much got everything uh, that I want from the Gates of Hell. So, the first things first is to show off all the different outfits that you can that you unlock with the uh, Super Mirror. You basically just go into Costume Change, and then you've got all of these, so there's Umbran Komachi, uh, P Uniform Dark, various, including one that looks like um, Sylvia from Beautiful Joe, Umbra, Nun, Old, Queen, it, it's just, you've got loads of choice. And I think for uh, right now, uh, we're, we're going to be using using that outfit, and we are going to head on in to the Cardinal Virtue of Temperance. Uh, basically, it, it's just to show... Um, um, a great way of... Uh, pillow farming, essentially. Now, basically, by wearing different costumes, uh, you will have those costumes in most of the cutscenes. Um, there are certain cutscenes where it is just pre-rendered, um, or at least Bayonetta won't be in the costume that you've given her, but you have to deal with that. So basically, your best way of um, Halo farming is having Durga and Kilgore, um, well, particularly Durga, I think it's literally only Durga I'm going to be using. Uh, King of Despair and Selene's Light. And basically, you've just got to spam that Durga for all it's worth. And it, it helps if you get hit by Selene's Light. Hit, hit by Tempranchia because then Selene's Light activates. And um, you get all the Witch Time additions. So you can just get so many Halos, it's insane. I mean, you are going to end up with a, at least, well, the highest you're probably going to manage to get is gold, if you do what I'm doing. Because um, although you can get the combo score up really high, you get damaged and then it all goes down. I think pretty much you can get, like, if you play well enough, you can get one to two million halos every single time you play the chapter. There are uh, other ways of doing halo farming to get enough halos if you want to get all the weapons with ease. Um, there's an Alfheim at the start of chapter 3 which if you have Gears of Despair equipped and walk into it with Durga equipped and just spam Durga throughout the entirety of it um, until you've failed and then go back and just keep getting halos constantly. Um, but I just thought I'd go for Temperance here because it was just easier to do in what in kind of short bursts. Because to get every single optional thing, because basically to get one set of weapons, you've got to beat the game on hard mode to beat it on, or to get the other one, you've got to beat it on non-stop infinite climax mode. Um, to get. Um, one of the extra characters you have to beat, Angel Slayer, 
um, to get one of the uh, accessories you have to beat the game in under three on normal in under three hours. Um, now, as you can probably tell, my overall game time has worked out as something kind of close to ten hours, but the game play time that it counts was like five and a half hours. Um, so, as long as you kind of just skip verses that you don't want and just go quickly, then getting it's quite easy. Um, but, basically because I don't have the time or patience um, to get everything kind of normally, um, I'm just going to get most of it through um, the cheat way, which is very cheap and probably I shouldn't be doing it, but I, at present, kind of, I don't really have the skills. I don't know if I have the skills to successfully take down half mode and non-stop infinite climax mode in a reasonable time. Um, also, the amount of times I've had to play through the story of this game... Um, well, for various reasons. Um, by the end of recording Bayonetta, I had Bayonetta fatigue. <laughs> because... Literally, it's it's hard going when you are trying to show off as much as possible. It really is. Now, if anything, this last section of Temperancia is the main place where you're going to be able to get up that combo score. Um, as you will probably see, you can get it up to 9999 times 9.9. .9 and even higher, if you uh, are successful enough. Which is difficult, um, don't get me wrong, but it's certainly possible. And I played through this chapter enough to know that it's definitely possible. Mostly through getting hits and making use of which time to get extra points. But yay, we get to see Temperanchi get beaten to a bloody point again, just because I'm sure you all enjoyed it last time. And you, you just need to see it again, you know? Um, but you're not going to see the other bit of it because you, you, you don't need to see that bit. <laughs> So yeah, that, that, even though my combo score was much higher, my time was much less, the amount of times I got hit means that I got less, a lower grade. Which is kind of annoying, but it's just going to happen, isn't it? So basically what I did was I played through uh, that boss enough times to manage to get, it was about 16 million halos, I think. Um, if you want to get absolutely everything, you need close to 20. But um, obviously I've already unlocked Sean, and I am going to unlock one of the weapons. Well, yeah, one of the weapons normally. So, basically what I am going to show off now is um, how you unlock these... All of these optional weapons. Now basically, I mentioned it when we um, were in Chapter 2 the last time, but if you go up to these um, telephone booths when you have enough halos and press the correct buttons, um, then you'll unlock stuff. Um, it, they're basically, I believe this one is the weapons one. 
Um, there's one for weapons, one for accessories, and one for characters. The character one is over where you find Luca. Um, and I believe the accessories one is the one in the middle, but um, yeah. So basically, um, to unlock the bazillions, um, which are some guns, you've got to press, well, you, it requires one million halos, and you must press up, 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 down, 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 left, right, left, right, why? Um, to get the other weapon, Pillow Talk, which is a sword, um, also requires one million halos, and that's up, 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 down, 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 left, right, left, right, A. Um, what I just unlocked there was the Climax Bracelet, or the Climax Brace. Um, which basically puts you into uh, immediate serious mode, which is awesome. So everything is a wicked weave. And um, to get that one, you need to do up, 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 down, 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 left, right, left, right, right trigger. Um, to get the bracelet of time, um, it's up, 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 down, 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 left, right, left, right, left trigger. Um, and to get eternal testimony, um. I can't remember how I unlocked that one, but I did. Um, it's up, 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 down, 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 left, right, left, right, right bumper. Um, so that's that's all the ones that I'm unlocking for now. Um, I'll show you one of the character ones a little bit later. Um, but if you want Jean, it's up, 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 down, 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 left, right, left, right, B. Um, and then for the last weapon, um, which I'll be showing how you unlock normally, um, it's up, 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 down, 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 left, right, left, right, left bumper. Um, so pretty much if you just do the same string of uh, inputs and then just change the other input as you uh, unlock stuff, you'll eventually get everything. Um, so yes. Pillow Talk is basically the single most powerful weapon in the game. Um, although it doesn't have any wicked weaves to it. Um, but it's very powerful. Especially when charged up fully. Because essentially, if you're using it normally without the climax brace attached, um, it's just a lightsaber essentially. But then if you use EI Jutsu and charge it up, um, then it stays like that for a little while. And these are the Bazillions, which are an awesome pair of guns. Ahem, um, well, group of guns, I should say. Which fire off lasers! Which is just quite wonderful to behold, really. <laughs> So yes, that uh, covers all the weapons and accessories for now, um, but the next thing on our list is to head on over to the Gates of Hell, um, because once you've gotten 10 million halos total um, over the course of the game, you, really wanna make a deal with the um, you can get the optional boss. And basically, to get to this optional boss, you need to buy the Platinum Ticket. Hey, if you think you've got enough Halos to afford it, how about you show me some love? With enough of those shiny little loops, I can get back to the real me. The old me. Let's get this party started. Shit's gonna get real. And so, our optional boss is Rodan. Now, Rodan is the single most hard boss in the entire game. Um, or, to be more correct, Father Rodan. Um, 
your best bet is to have Eagle Harvest Rosary equipped, and you've just got to be very careful. He's really fast and really powerful. He hits like a tank. Um, you can cheese him quite successfully, um, which is pretty much the only way that I'm going to beat him. I tried to beat him legitimately, but um, it didn't quite work out. Um, also, he has an attack um, which will take you down to one health. And you, because you can't use items, um, you are pretty screwed if you get hit by it. I mean, up until this point, I had never faced Rodan before. A lot of people had never had enough Halos. Uh, um, but also because I was too terrified too, because I knew how difficult it was. Especially, and basically, because you have to face Father Rodan on um, non-stop infinite climax mode difficulty. So, you can't use Witch Time. Um, and he's just a beast of an enemy. So, um, cheesing him is pretty much the only way I was ever going to beat him. <laughs> and there we go. To be perfectly honest, I will take any ranking on that, I'm just quite grateful that I beat him in the end, because I was not expecting to be able to. I got to hand it to you. You sure let me have my fun. I never thought a girl would beat my ass so hard, but I gotta admit, I kinda liked it. You win. This time, baby. Now whenever I hear that phrase, this time, baby, I always think, I always want to end it with, this time, baby, I'll be bulletproof, which is another LaRue song, and LaRue's, um, going in for the kill, was used, um, in the Western, particularly the English TV spots and so on and so forth, which is just awesome. So, that's that for now, let's move on to the next bit, yay!